Rumors are that allegedly Portia wants this new season of Real Housewives of Atlanta to be a disaster. Now, why is that? I have some new information that may answer that question and more right after this. What's up, kinfolk? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. Alright, kinfolk. Come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly... Portia is hoping for Real Housewives of Atlanta disastrous season. Why is that? Well, I have some new information that may answer that question and more. And here it goes. Kimfolk, let me read to you what my sources are saying about this particular rumor. Industry insiders say that Sunday's night premiere of Real Housewives of Atlanta was its best premiere yet. Sources say that maybe it wasn't its biggest premiere, but definitely one of its best premieres in a long time. One industry insider said that Bravo and Truly Original, along with True Entertainment, should be very proud of the franchise's strong showing on Sunday night. The fact that they were able to turn around a season with so many challenges speaks to the show's runners' great talents and their great ability to bring out the best in the ladies. Another source said, The ladies were also very proud of their strong opening performances. Many were nervous about showing certain parts of their lives in great detail. However, they loved the editing outcome. So, with so many positive reviews about the season premiere of Real Housewives of Atlanta, why is it that Portia is allegedly hoping for a disastrous season? Well, rumor is that Portia is allegedly hoping that the ladies have a horrible season so that Bravo will ask her back for season 15. One source said, this rumor isn't too far off, if true. Whenever a housewife heavyweight is either asked not to return for a season, that housewife tend to hope for a low rating season in order to get two things. First, in order to get the show to see that they are a fan favorite and that the fans miss them and they're needed back. And... For the second reason, to allegedly use the much needed return as a bargaining tool for more, for more money in their contract negotiations. So far, all the sources agree that this season of Real Housewives of Atlanta is shaping up to be a strong one with a strong cast that may no longer need Portia or any former housewife back at this point. So Kim Folk. When I'm looking at this rumor, I am seeing several parts of it that I can see as being true and several parts of it that I can see as being not so true. Now, the first thing is the one part uh, that I'm not seeing that could be uh, true um, is the fact that uh, Portia is hoping for a disastrous season. Now, you know, I, I try to find the good in everybody and I try to find the good in everything. And, um, you know, I saw how Cynthia, you know, gave, uh, did a post on social media about encouraging everyone to watch the show and everyone to support the ladies and how well and how good of a job the ladies did. Um, I'm not sure if Portia um, did do a uh, post like that. I would have to, ch have to check. But that part of the room where she's hoping and desperately needing the, this season to be a disaster... I'm not too sure I'm buying that. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, all of my sources are telling me that Portia is putting up 
some strong arguments in order to get a second season of her spinoff. Now, her show is definitely in limbo. We were thinking and hoping that we would have some information on whether the show will be back for a second season by the end of uh, last month. However, my sources are saying that the show is pretty much indefinitely in limbo. And so, this indefinite limbo phase, you know, I feel like it could make her nervous as well. I need something to, to pop for me um, this year, so I need to get back on Real Housewives of Atlanta. However, I've just been told that for the most part, allegedly, Bravo and producers are wanting Porsche's show to come back. The reason why it's in limbo right now, they're just not sure how to storyline it and how to frame it for a second season. Now, that's what the rumors are coming from um, the production side of Porsche spinoff. So with that being said, I don't necessarily think that she is just clamoring to get back on Real Housewives of Atlanta as of right now. Um, the other part of this rumor that I do see actually as being factual is this. You know, whenever a housewife is not asked back for a second season, whether the reason be contract negotiation issues or if they were told not to come back simply because of some things that they did wrong the previous season, um, those housewives tend to um, find an opening to get back on the show, whether it be through low ratings or whether it be through overall you know, fans wanting them to have overwhelming support for um, them coming back to the show. And so we do know that housewives tend to look for avenues and ways to get back on the show. So, um, let's say uh, this season did not try to be what everyone is hoping it would be. Let's say that the fans start this overwhelming big campaign to get Portia back on the show. I think it will present her um, definitely an opening to come back. However, again, I just don't think she's looking for that opening right now. I really do believe Portia has gotten a taste of that individual solo fame. To where a show revolves around her for better or for worse. And you know to get your own solo show and to be paid for it. Where you're pretty much conducting the drama around you. I think it's a sweeter deal for her. Other than coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. When you're more responsible for not only your storyline. But also helping to produce other ladies in their storylines. And having to work with an ensemble cast who you pretty much can't control. Um, but if a push came to a shove and she needed to get back on Real Housewives of Atlanta, I definitely believe she would look at how the ratings were um, and how overwhelmingly the fans wanted her back as an opening to get back on the show. Um, also, if it did come to that, one other part of the rumor I couldn't, I can see as um, being factual is that she probably could use that as a bargaining tool for more, for more money in her contract. Um, if it got to the point where fans overwhelmingly wanted her back and if it got to the point to where the ratings needed a familiar face to come back to help revive the show. So in that aspect, you know, it would make sense for her to ask probably for more money if it came to that. Um, the last part of this rumor that um, I also see as being potentially factual is the fact that all of my sources um, have said this um, pretty much in unison that production and uh the network really feels like that this group of women are they are a strong group who can present a very strong season um all the ladies have very detailed and interesting storylines i've been told that all their storylines do not go in the direction you think it's going to go in which is good for tv because it gives you like this um, this big surprise that keeps you, you know, guessing and keeps you tuning in. Also, I've been told that this group of women, they really mesh well together, even in the middle of chaos. Which is very important because they present a unified front to where they all understand that they have an assignment to, uh, to complete. And at the end of the day, it's no hard feelings. We're still all sisters trying to make it happen for ourselves. So that's a very good formula to have. It's one of those formulas that we've seen work really, really well for the ladies in Potomac. 
You know, every season we'll see them, you know, fight and fuss. And then over the summer, they grab and lunch together. Because I think it's because they all understand the, assi- understand the assignment. And if the rumors are true that Housewives of Atlanta have some of those producers from Real Housewives of Potomac, then it makes sense that they were able to get through to the ladies, hey, we are a group, we are a team, and we have an assignment to complete. And at the end of the day, it's all for the greater good of the show. So with that being said, I can see production and the network not necessarily um, looking to have Portia back anytime soon or any former housewife back anytime soon. I really do believe they're going to let this cast of ladies marinate for another season or two before they even think about introducing anyone new uh, to the group. But Kimfo, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think this wild rumor that Portia is hoping for a disastrous season of Real Housewives of Atlanta to happen so she can get back on the show? Or do you think it's just a rumor and Portia is probably better off just trying to get a second season of her spinoff and continue to nurture her solo career? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Alright Kim folk, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys over on the next one. Peace.